when we think about missional communities, it's not something new. It's not a congregational development plan. It's not some strategy by which we think, oh, everything will be okay. What we realize is it is God's nature and it is our vocation as creatures of God to engage with a God who calls us out and invites us to be a missional people. Missional communities are sacramental and relational outposts for those that cannot or will not get to a traditional church environment for whatever reason. There tends to be three different ways that we'll connect with people in our context. Either we'll connect with people because they're longing for community, they're seeking meaningful relationships, and that sense of belonging is what draws them to be a part of a new community in that neighborhood. The other way where this might, how this might happen is through shared conviction. For whatever reason, someone may not ever go back to a traditional church environment, but they still are compelled by the gospel and looking to be a part of some kind of Christian community. And the third way that we often connect with people is through a shared conviction of serving a community and seeking the well-being of that particular neighborhood. So we wanted to find ways to start to engage them in ways that were non-threatening to them, in ways where they could actually meet us and meet other people who are interested in church or not, and how they could serve the community was to come together and find ways to actually help each other. So the typical gathering looks like something like this. Uh, we have student leaders who will invite other students, um, invite other uh, young adults that they know in their community into their home. Um, this is a great way to gather people. We gather around a common meal and um, there's always some sort of element of worship in what we do. However we connect with our neighbors, we believe that missional communities are intended to be worshiping and witnessing communities, communities that notice what God is doing in a particular context, that they come together and celebrate what that is and organize their common life together around that.